I want to invite you all to stop what you're doing, take a deep breath, ah, and relax for a few minutes because Lisa is about to take us all on a very tranquil trip to some really beautiful lavender fields. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell how unbelievable this lavender is. I'm here at Farm 123 at the Highland Springs Ranch and Inn, and it is Southern California's largest lavender ranch. Now, when I thought of lavender ranches and lavender fields, I thought they were only in France, but boy, was I wrong. How many times have you heard, I had no idea that lavender was grown out here in the Inland Empire? Oh my goodness, almost every single day, actually. Yeah, it's, people never realize that we're here. It's sort of like a secret spot, but once people find it, they start sharing it with their friends, but we do hear that quite often. What makes this area so perfect for the flower? One reason is that it doesn't require a lot of water. So in our climate, it's pretty dry, so that, that's suiting. The reason that it, it, it actually produces a good oil here is that we have the hot days but the cool evenings and what happens is during that time period the oils concentrate in the plant so if you harvest the plant in the early morning you have a great concentration you are one of the largest, or if not the largest, farm here in Southern California. Yeah. How many different varieties? What are the most popular? So we do have uh, a, around 80 different varieties of lavender in our sample garden. But, um, one we grow is called uh, Lavandula Intermedia Provence, and that one we grow for mainly for our culinary purposes. We also have another variety, the Vera, which is but more for the essential oil. Over time in history, where has lavender and what role has it played? So lavender has a pretty long history. Actually, in World War II, the soldiers used to use it when they were down in the trenches if they would get injured or wounded as an antiseptic. So it's antibacterial, antifungal. It's, it's very useful. It was also been used um, historically with psychologists for anxiety a lot of different things so amazing and what do you love about being able to share this property with all the guests who come and you have the festival and the different vendors well uh, what's so nice is when you come in the middle of lavender season the whole place smells like lavender and so it's very soothing and relaxing it's so uh, rewarding to see people uh, have make memories here I love that one of the aspects out here on the farm is the fact that you get to learn and see how everything's done. And Carol, you're the one who's going to show me how we actually distill the oil out of the lavender plant. That's right. So how's it done? Today, we are distilling Provence lavender. I put a sample inside of the cook pot and the oil is in the stick and the flowers. We use hot steam method here, and this machine behind you is a hot steam distiller. So you mentioned the lavender food. So mm -hmm. you know I have got to try the food. So we have lavender funnel cake, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. And then what is this? This is called a bumbaloni. Inside is a lavender cream that it's, it's, it's one of our favorites. Okay, I'm just gonna break in so we can mm -hmm. see inside the cream. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? So good. I don't think I've ever had food with lavender in it, really. It, yes, it, 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 you know, it, it has a very nice flavor. So, you know, you have to be careful not to get too strong, but you get it just right, and it's wonderful. Right now. Uh, we're at uh, the cusp of the full bloom. So it started May 14th and it'll go through August 1st. It's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday through uh, Sunday. We're just at that point where it's going to be in the full bloom at the height of the festival. Yes, so you haven't missed it. There's going to be a huge explosion of color and smell and it is definitely worth the drive from Los Angeles. You've got to come see this.